is everybody watching today? We're going to be doing, I know it says Sims 4. I honestly don't know how to change that. I tried like six times. I am not building in The Sims 4 today, but it is what it is. Uh, Nancy Drew, Secrets Can't Kill is what I'm playing today. I've, heard, I've seen that a lot of the people that... Dare to play. Or like, they like the same games as me. They all like the same games. So that's why I'm building. So I have two and a half hours. So I'm going through it. Also, excuse me, I'm eating my lunch. Okay. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Nancy. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Okay, so that's how we start the game. Coffee. <laughs> Scrapbook. Okay. So these are all of her cases. I believe there's 33 now. How do I close this? How do I go back? Read your inventory. Read your journal. Check your task list. Load the game. Change game settings. How do I go back? Oh. oh. Okay. Case two. Stay tuned for danger. I'm doing case one. But I don't know if I even want to look at these yet. Because all these are coming later, right? How do I close it? Oh, like that. Okay. Let's see. How to be a detective by Nancy Drew. Okay. In this game, you'll also have a cell phone with lots of features. Phone, camera, and settings. Each mode can be accessed by selecting its icon from the main menu. Phone mode stores all the numbers you'll need to know. Bring up the correct contact or dial in the number yourself and press call. Camera mode allows you to take and view photos. When in camera mode, you can zoom in and pan before taking the picture. Click on view photos to see your saved photos. You'll be downloading photos later from the view photos mode. And the settings menu allows you to personalize the look of your phone by choosing one of the options in the drop down. Okay. Finding clues, moving out. To get from one place to another in the game, okay. just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. Case file. Current assignment. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. Oh no. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. Ooh. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. So let's go see what the deal with Jake is.
So I'm guessing this is level of hardness. Mm. I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> I don't want it to be super easy, but I don't want it to be super hard either. Senior or junior? If I'm 26 years old, should I be picking the senior detective? Or should I? I really don't know, guys. Um, I need someone to help me. I'm going to say, because mm, it, I'm going with senior. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? I love Florida. Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. Okay. So it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. And yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. You look sketchy. spoke a word until a year later. A year. At first, the girl just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. A psychiatrist specializing in traumatic experiences was asked to examine the girls, but the girls would only say one phrase. Follow the X to the spot below. I see 
this. Did that. Excuse me, giant human person, but you... Oh, the music crap. Is that fine? Oh. Oh. Is that fine? got louder <laughs> when I exited out. Wait, no, I was too mad. Those two need to switch. Go 
to apply the settings after you do it. Oh, I exited out, didn't I? No, it did it. See, it did it. It wasn't a, a apply settings option. So I guess that goes above that. I did not fix it. I made it work. <laughs> be good. Thanks. I gotta switch those two. I gotta get her. I need to put this down there. says I'm playing Sims 4. Okay. I think I have to do it before I start, but... Try this. Find docs and stream manager. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Stream information. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, right here. Ah! Fancy, that's how. Okay. What is a secret can fill? Wow. Thanks. Back to normal. Um, ba -ba. Mm. I'm thinking all. 
all of this might be here. Yeah, because there's the table right there. Is that the wrong table? That table. Oh! I see, I see. Okay. Uh huh. But now that's in the wrong spot. Let's go ahead and fix that. I've just made it all the way back to what it was. I used to be really good at these things as a kid. So I need to get this one goes. I need to get her face out of there, actually. Let's go ahead and get this face over here, because it's the face that keeps throwing me off, because it keeps going in the wrong spot. Oh, that goes above there. Okay, so these three need to be here. Let's start here. Oh, this must go above that. So this one goes here. Okay. See, yeah, I see. Okay, beautiful. Which, I need to figure out which one is the bottom right now. It's gotta be the one with her, no, cause the one with her skirt goes here. It's, it's gotta be this one then. Feels hard right now. Okay. Um, I guess not. I guess that's the top. Oh, it's probably the open, the bottom opens. That square at the bottom has to be open. I forgot there has to be one open. Okay. Good to know. Okay.
As a kid, I was so good at these, y'all. <laughs> It's her face that's throwing me off everywhere. Like, if I could get her face in the right spot, this would just take spinning it around. These two need to switch places. These two need to switch places. Okay. It's her face. I can't get their, her face to be in a good spot. Okay. Oh, no. No, not okay. except for this piece, this piece, and that now. They're so close. They're so close. Oh no! Dang it. I've done that so many times now. I don't think this is necessary for this point in the game though. But... Now I'm determined. I need to solve this puzzle. Maybe starting over is what I needed, though.
You got this. I do have this. I'm gonna get it. I keep doing that. I keep doing that thing. There's that side. I think this is the top right. Okay. Oh, it's behind Nancy Drew's house. Okay. one is going to be open at the end. So I need to get, um, I think this one right there. doing better this time. Like the eighth time is the charm. I need to get this one down here though. Okay. there. Yeah, that, that is right. Okay. So let's put that down. Um, those two go here.
Okay, so I need to get the neck here. I need to get these all over here. Okay. I need to somehow get this one to switch with this one. I don't remember these ever being this hard when I was a little kid doing these. Not once. I remember being really good at them. So those, these are right now. Keep those together. Okay. So I need to have hands. So I got her in the right spot. She's like save these automatically in her journal. Okay, so it's all in her journal. Good to know. Beautiful. I can get into the school computer now. And I already have the key, so now I can head to the library. I hope that you don't all give me problems like that. All right, school library. 
Paseo Del Mar High School. Go fighting manatees. Learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. Da Vinci. Twenty three. Eighty eight. Is there stuff to see on this wall? Study Dome, Student Union. Around the corner. Around that corner. Let's go around this corner. Homecoming. In here. Hi, I'm Connie. Hi, Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Nope. Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Is it that obvious I'm not from around here? Is it that obvious I'm not from around here? I'm a school monitor, so I have to notice these things. Things must be pretty hectic for you right now. Obviously. Once this whole thing blows over, it'll be back to the same old routine. You don't seem all that concerned about a classmate who was just murdered. Hey, Jake's luck ran out. That's what? all. Life Dang goes on. What? Life goes on for everyone but the victim. That's true, but I guarantee there won't be a crowd at Jake's funeral. Dang! <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody oh. liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Nobody liked him. Okay. Interesting. Bonnie. Nice to meet you there. What are these? Oh! Quarters? There was a quarter in the coffee cup. I didn't know I could click on the stuff. Can I buy a drink with my quarter? Pop, orange soda, spot cola. Cool. Orange, great. This is the library? Heading to the library, maybe? Who are you? Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm Hal's a Japanese name. exchange student. Yep. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want okay. to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Do you plan on staying in America after you finish high school? My family is counting on me to succeed here. I must make them proud of me. What does success mean to you? In my family, it's very important to succeed. I believe hard work will get me into a good university. Nice. Jake Rogers tried to take the easy way out and look where that led him. Oh. What do you mean the easy Ooh. way? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. Why? What'd you do? Can I talk to you again? Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. What? See ya. Wowza. See ya. <laughs> Goodbye, Nancy. Dang! What's her problem with him then? Okay. Let's 
let's go the other down the other hallway I guess oh <gasps> maintenance room Does it keep turning me around? Student of the month is Hal Tanaka. Let's find them. Find the morning. Edit. I on. And discover a not her crime. The answer is in black and white to who will do the time. I R D T. Find them, find the morning, edit. Edition, find the morning edition and it discover a not her crime. The answer is in black and white. To who will do the time? Okay. So I need to find the newspaper. Can I zoom in on anything else? Wait, what is IR colon D2? Sophomore book sale, computer club, student bulletin board, fighting manatees, women's ooh, message. Does she write? She writes this down, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Hal is an exchange student who seems to be under pressure to succeed. Connie is a school monitor and really disliked Jay, but Connie was dating Jay. Someone has left strange messages on the bulletin boards. Could it have been Jake? IRD2. Connie is wearing an interesting medallion. Aunt Eloise's login. My undercover contact, Detective Beach, is available at Maxine's diner if I need him. Okay. KRL2. Phone numbers. Who is Ned Nickerson? So if I, I have a school login, so am I supposed to go to like the computer lab? But is the, it said the library. I'm so, I'm a little confused about the library. Because that's where Hal was. Oh, here's the library. Let's go in the library. Hello? Oh, I need the key. Inventory. Key. Memorial Library. Okay. People really just leave their books out like this? How disrespectful. Hold 
pensar no hoy. return books here. Can I look at the books that were just checked out? No? I can look down this one. No. Okay. Can I go upstairs? right here is here where the computers are One of the most ancient and widespread legends known to humankind can be summed up thusly. Scattered over the earth are 13 humanoid skulls carved out of pure crystal. At some point in the future, fate will bring the 13 skulls together and they will speak, imparting wisdom that will save the human race from annihilation and usher in a golden era of peace and enlightenment. There are several versions of the legend. In one, the skulls were created by Mayans, Incas, or Aztecs and collectively form a repository of information detaining, detailing how humans the legend of the creation of extraterrestrial, extraterrestrials who seeded the earth with human race and left the skulls behind to explain their actions at some point in the future. Yet another contends the skulls are ancient in origin but more important that each skull is somehow magical in of itself the distinctive gifts they offer their owners reputedly include cognition, clairvoyance, telekinesis, and of course, immortality. Some variations combine all of the above. The crystal skulls. Okay. And then that's all I can get from here. killed in the library? Like, is that why? Why can't I open these books? Periodic table. Wait, this might be the thing. This is probably the little code thing. 
turn off. Zoom in, can I? Let's do. How do I see what the element is? Okay, well, it might be that. I need to remember that's there. And then there's this stuff to say Jake was here, but it won't let me do anything with this stuff. Oh, a quarter. Let me try logging in over here. No, can't log in there. Okay. Well, I think it's gonna help me. That periodic table is supposed to help me. Oh, because that's the L3 is the thing. No. NA L3. I'll just remember this is up here. Is there anything else I can do down here? making me think so hard. Ooh, okay. Global book. E. Okay, E. Braille. Oh, okay, this will help me get into the thing. The thing later on, the uh, maintenance closet. Okay, does she write down the Braille alphabet for me? Real words, but do I need the colors for this red, purple, blue, and gray? It's like it's important for something. Okay, so let's go back. B for Braille. here. Oh! And the K. Hmm, kanji. that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Kanji for crane. Okay. So I guess Connie likes Japan too? 
Philemon of Crete, and Mary Antoinette, born in Vienna, Austria, on November 2nd, 1755. She was the youngest daughter of Francis I and Maria Theresa, emperor and empress of the Holy Roman Empire in 1770. As a young teenager, she was obliged, obliged, <laughs> obliged to wed Louis XVI of France to symbolize an alliance between France and her parents' dynasty. In the Habsburgs of Austria, four years later, Marie Antoinette became Queen of France when her husband was crowned King Louis saying 16. I think that's As queen, her lavish lifestyle made her unpopular while the commoners stood in red lines and prayed for food. They cursed the queen who was living so comfortably in her grand palace. The people's discontent grew and grew until a full-scale revolution broke out in 1789. In 1791, it looked like the monarchy would not survive and Marie sought assistance from other European rulers. It was arranged for the king and queen to escape Paris the night of June 20th but revolutionary forces apprehended the royal couple at Bernays on June 25th and escorted them back to Paris as prisoners. Probably Bernays. Okay. That's good to know, I guess. Oh my gracious, is there stuff to look at on all of Oh no. Oh. Yeah, no? There's more stuff to look at? Oh my gracious, so much research. Lizzie Applegate. Elizabeth Applegate, well loved by San Franciscans both for her cultural and humanitarian contributions, Lizzie Applegate was a talented actress and songwriter who began her career entertaining minors at local gold camps. In 1880, Lizzie wrote and starred in the tremendously successful play The Bandit's Treasure, whose cast included Norma Denton. Denton. I'm learning so much today. Magazines. Sports Today. The insanity of steroid abuse. Oh man. He I wonder if he was an athlete and did some steroid stuff. I'm not reading that today. Sorry right, guys. Or if someone gave him steroids and it was actually poison. Is that Rapunzel? That looks like Rapunzel. <laughs> There's Nancy Drew. Are these all Nancy Drew? No. No. That's Nancy Drew, though. I already looked in the maps and found the paper thing. Okay, I can't get on the computer right now though. Or can I and I'm just not in the right position to. name Jake. No results found. I need to figure out what to look up. What it, can I do? KR2? No. Sports. I don't know. Like 
Oh, encyclopedia. Okay, check shelf, nonfiction, do, okay. Interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to look in for this. But... Okay. I'm gonna, the library is pretty big. I'm gonna leave the library and explore the school somewhere, I think. Here, come on. Oh, See here. you later. I must go now, Nancy. He's just looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> like, why are you still talking to me? Because I love Japanese people and I want to talk to you. Ooh. Can I see something here yet? Something new here? Okay, so this thing I haven't seen yet. ASU4. A crane contestant in a masked disguise won the prize money despite all the lies. ASU4. A what? Wait, wait, wait. What did it say? Current assignment. Okay, I already read this. I'm thinking it was Jake because I can go through the stuff, but I'm about to have to leave soon, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get off soon. Pretty soon, not too soon. I've got like an hour left, but I'm gonna go drink some water really quick because and get my glasses because this is gonna give me a headache. So be right back.
I have, um, I got a snack and some water and my glasses because they were necessary. Um, I still don't think I know the code to this unless, huh? So maybe what I need to do is I need to go back and take a picture of the braille page in the library. to leave. Where, where'd the library go? Can I leave? Where else could I go? Oh, the diner. Hey, diner. Let's talk to the guy. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. Okay. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So, what can I do for you? Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. Dang. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe mean? even the FBI. Ooh. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure. Doesn't everyone? Yeah. Who? Okay. I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. Mm. Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. Huh. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Oh, wow. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. Yep. That's cool. I'm just saying, not playing. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. He's a creep. Mm-hmm. 
way. No. That way. That way. I don't have enough space on my on my desk to play a game like this. My hand can't go anywhere. Well, this shouldn't take long. Come on! That. One of my neighbors has a chihuahua that chases people. And I can hear it outside chasing someone. And then oh, aggregation is out of order. him about what can I do for you oh I bye I can't, I can't ask See ya. about the restaurant anymore that's fine I guess thank you call again Uncle Steve Uncle Steve Nancy why I haven't seen you since uh, uh for a long time <laughs> how's your aunt Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Suburban. suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Sounds Drugs, like gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. I saw anything it. else? Let me look at it. <laughs> Bye, Uncle Steve. Goodbye, Nancy. It wouldn't let me open his journal. Is that why? Because I hadn't talked to Uncle Steve yet? Oh, oh okay. And then that must be the house. So it's the diner, the school, and the house. Yeah, this is Aunt Eloise's house. Okay. Back to school. Never thought I'd go back to high school. Is he in... anything down there but I feel like there would be information or should be information there did I already see this one okay it's backward will help my help my what fly flight <laughs> wow that g that igh does not come across as easily backwards will help my flight the first letters up down left right up down left right 
will help my flight. The first letters will help my flight. Up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Can I take a picture with my phone? Doesn't look like there's anything else I can really click on this wall right now. Caution tape. Okay, go back. So I need to find a lock code. I've already looked at this one. Find the morning edit edition and, oh, I need to find the morning edition. So maybe I should. Where would the morning edition be? Should I talk to Connie again? I didn't talk to her. I only talked to her once. I haven't been around this corner yet. Is this a cafeteria or something? Nowhere to turn to, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. KR1. that someone must hide reflects big secret. Worn with great pride, a symbol of Kanji. Okay, so that's talking about Kanji. To keep up is what is that word? To keep up his charade, maybe? <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Guys, handwriting. I made a guy with good handwriting. <laughs> Two. Okay. Let me just take a picture and I'll look at it again if I need it. So I think this one's about this one over here is about how, and this one's about Kanji. But maybe there's a connection to both of them because Kanji is Japanese. Um, let's keep, can I go around the corner? Football! Whoa, a new girl at school. Oh, God. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. Why? Okay. 
Hulk? The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. The best teams in the state, college ball. So one of one the best, of the teams, best in the teams in the state? Hello? Paseo Del Mar High School has been Florida's number one football team for the last four years. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get the coach to change that lame mascot ever since I first made the team. Are you sure there's nothing to be afraid of? Are you sure there's nothing to be afraid of? I'm afraid you're asking too many questions. What's it to you? Sorry, so what's been going on at school? Somebody killed Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Sure. How's we'll it going? You there. Let me keep talking to you. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Oh! Why? Was he the one who... did it? What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? Tough time? Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Ooh, I wonder why. It's the drugs. What about Hal? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal, he may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week? I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. No, I want to ask how to get into the locker. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Okay, now it won't let me ask how to get into the locker. Okay. How's it going? I'll talk to you later. That is it. Later. It's not Hal. It's impossible. It cannot be Hal. Hal is a good guy, and he is my best friend. The Crane School of Self-Defense. You gotta jump on education. Judo for men and women of all ages. Judo. There is a lot of Japanese references, but Connie did have a kanji necklace. So I think maybe there's something funky going on between Connie and Al. Study dome? Let's go back to the study home dome and see if I can ask Al questions now. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Oh. That's kind of sad. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular. And a good politician, too. Just like his father. Okay, Matt. <laughs> uh, he's very popular and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Like his father? Like his father? I hear he was a great politician. But not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Do you know what 
Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Hulk said your locker's right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Would that help? No. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> Bye. I must go now, Nancy. I guess I need to find his phone. Maybe it's with the other stuff in the library that it wouldn't let me pick up. Maybe it'll let me pick it up now. I want to go find um, Connie again. Hey, Connie. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? How well do you know Daryl Gray? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Your medallion has a symbol that means crane. A crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. Do you know how Tanaka? What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? All the questions I can ask her now. Have you okay. seen any of those weird messages on the Just bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. Okay. I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. Oh. He's student council president, what? holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Yeah, it does. It Daryl's does. family was rich and used to throw major yeah. parties all the time, but not anymore. Didn't I hear you were <laughs> dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? But you just said... <laughs> Well, okay, maybe, okay. How about this girl? Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. That's a lie. This girl. What is it you want him. now? Hope <laughs> told me money's been okay. tight for you these days. What a dork. Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. She did it. She killed him. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. See you later. Adios. She's not very nice. Okay. Let me go back to the library. If I can remember how to get to the library. It's hard. I feel like it's hard to get to the library for some reason. This way. Okay, so there's here's his locker. Hold on, go back. Uh, go back one. Phone. Can I look down or something? I need to find his phone. Let's go back to the library. Wait, this is that was the library. <laughs> Libraries this way. Why does it? This is an issue I keep having in the school. I guess I'm just not used to it. Okay, there's the locker. Okay, study room. So that's the way we just came from. So I need to turn around and go this way. There, go down the hall turn here. Okay. The library is on this side. 
Can I look at this card? Three, 15, 15, 12. Y, D, three. Okay. Take a picture of that. Fifties dance at the diner. Library. Do I have to I get the key back out? Okay, um, his stuff was upstairs, so let's go up here and look at his stuff again. Can I touch any of his stuff yet? Maybe this isn't Jake's stuff, but why can I... This is confusing! Take a picture of it to show my guy. My Maybe I should go down some of these aisles. I know I can go down a few. Like, okay. Oh, did I? I did see this one. This one's about the crystal skulls. This one didn't have one. Oh, it did. Okay. Elements of mystery. What is Spain? Santa Ana Domingo was something of a celebrity known to sailors simply as El Toro. He was Spanish royalty's go to guy when it came to transporting exceptionally valuable cargo from the present day Central America back to Spain. Not only was he an expert navigator, but he was a gifted tactician. When it came to naval warfare, he was adept at eluding and, when necessary, defeating the pirates who often pursued his ships. In 1665, he and the seven majestic galleons under his command had become legendary. Four years later, in the summer of the New World came to a close, the legend took a tragic turn, anchored in the port of Portugalo. All Toro abruptly ordered his seven virtues fleet to set sail for Spain despite increasingly bad weather and reports that infamous privateer Henry Mee was in the area. The cargo has was transporting must have been extraordinarily precious for him to take such a risk, one that unfortunately proved disastrous. No one knows which fleet encountered Henry Morgan or the hurricane which devastated the Caribbean islands days later, or perhaps both. But this much is known. El Toro, his crew, and the entire Seven Virtues fleet were never seen again, as with Nuestra Señora de Atocla of the Tierra Firme fleet of half a century before. All had disappeared without a trace, and so somewhere hidden in the depths of the Linton Blue waters of the Caribbean rest the remains of El Toro's galleons, and a treasure so valuable that scores of men lost their lives trying to protect it. Its precise whereabouts remains a mystery, but someday some lucky soul, perhaps armed only with scuba gear, a metal detector and a shovel will find it someday. El Toro will be a celebrity once again. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's go to the next aisle. Right here. I don't speak French.
Maybe I should look this up in the thing. That might be the last aisle I can go down. It appears so. Because the next option is to go back to the stairs. There's not much I can do here is the only thing. Like, why can I zoom in and not click on this? We've got chemistry. Jake was here. Maybe I need to talk to more people. And then all this. Periodic table. Oh. identify them for its manifest. Okay. Oh, and more over here. Introduction to Ichido. Ichido is an ancient, extremely simple, yet highly effective form of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. And I want to do it. Very easy if it's possible. Not possible? Yes, possible. Attack stance, up left stance, up right attack, up center attack. Okay. Okay, keep going. Down this aisle. Relics were kept in a cavity inside of the altar, altar of a church or in a container. About some of them, much is known. About most of them, little is known. The history of many of them is frustrating, mismatch information, a fact and fancy, but none of the relics ended up where they are by accident. Someone sometime believed they were sacred and went to great lengths to preserve them. Against unrelenting onslaught of time and human forgetfulness. The relics of St. Mark. Okay. The relics of St. Theodore. Werewolves. Interesting. Wow. I have no idea this game is going to cause me do so much research. I thought when I graduated high school I would be done. With all that's required from high school. I already read this one. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what to look up in these. I don't, I don't know. What do I look up? Do I look up? Like what? Murder mystery. Checks the shelf, non fiction. The ball. The murder mystery. I leaned over. Ah, ah. She leaned over. I leaned over. The fall. Anybody? I leaned over. Okay. I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> That's all I needed today. I leaned over. Is there a difference? No? Okay, that doesn't look like it. Okay, so maybe I should go back and talk to my guy. ideas. I must be able to look at it. No, never mind. Let's go back to the gym area and talk to that guy again. How's it going? Hey. Sorry, you got I'm injured. really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain. No big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. Whatever you say. I'll talk to you later. Later. So why is, if he didn't die, this one's unlocked. Why, if he didn't die at his locker, why is his locker caution taped off? Also, where are these stairs? I have so many questions about this. All right, let's check. This girl is sketchy. I didn't check this board. Ooh, a new board. Okay. Family are invited to come to the fifth annual picnic of the Paseo Del Mar Junior High School Marching Band. Yo, marching band! 
Meet in the parking lot at 9 in the morning, and picnic will take place December 8th at Walden Reservoir. Woodwinds and percussion should wear full dress whites except for hats. Brass recital is set for later. LA, you too. What is it you want now? Oh, dang. See you later. Nothing. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. <laughs> I'm new here. Oh. oh, I saw a quarter. Oh well. I guess I'll see the quarter later. All right, let's say bye to Hal over here. Connie told me you study too hard. Connie told true? me you study too hard. Is that I true? Hard? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies, and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. You know, you keep saying that, Hal, and then you keep staying right here, and this isn't the library. So, I'm beginning to lose some confidence in you, bud. Funny if I did it on accident. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to go soon. Let me go talk to the guy in the diner again. What can I do for you? How well do you know? Didn't I hear, Didn't that, I you hear that you body? found Jake's body? Didn't you say that yeah. I did. The student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And I really don't want to think about it right now. Okay, let's change the subject. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. Talk to you later. A lot of pressure. That's See ya. Connie, but Connie, she got some issues too, I'm sure. Let's talk to Hi, you. Nancy. Do you know? Could you tell me the combination <laughs> to Jake's locker? Well, like I said, we already looked in his locker. There's nothing there. I know, but I'd like to see for myself. Then you'll need to figure it out by yourself. What the heck? What's up? You are not helpful. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Not helpful at all, sir. Not at all helpful. So I guess I need to find his phone. I feel like Connie probably has his phone. But, uh, I got a little more time. Okay. Must cell phone. I gotta find the cell phone. I gotta find... I don't know. I'm just gonna go through the school very slowly this time. I know I kinda... I feel like I kinda rush. Did I look at this one? Yeah? Is that a one? No, I don't think I saw this one yet. The Roaring Girl, a Jacobian comedy. Performances are Friday to Sunday at 8 p.m. Dr. Deception, a poetic drama written by senior essay winners of Passe High School, Paseo High School. Students' files under lock and key will show the lies of the doctor to be HFL 1. <sighs> She's written all these down, so I don't think I need to take pictures of those. Let's see. Victim. I know about the victim. Detective Beach wants me to be on the lookout for a journal Jake may have kept. Well, there's stuff in the... Uh, maybe it's not in the library. According to the detective, the police did not find anything of interest in Jake's locker or home, but they found he had a large savings account. What was he doing? Selling 
probably doing steroids and selling them. I don't know, selling steroids to Hulk. I didn't get up here. P U E P. Let me. I'm gonna need a notebook for this game. This is intense. This is an intense game. I was not ready for this. a letter there? I might have missed a letter there. T-O. Probably put elements. I probably missed an I. In order to open puzzle. Put elements in order to open puzzle. Z-N-D. What? So the elements put the elements in order to open the puzzle. Okay. Um, maybe does something when I go to the um, the elements when I go to the elements do I need to Are the elements in the wrong spot? Do they slide to the right spot? Actually, up this way is faster. Do they move? Like, I'm so confused. Because... The elements in order... So do I... Huh? Z and D1. 
Is that, I have to put them. Maybe. I wish I picked junior level. <laughs> it's too hard for Momo. Okay, um, so IRD2. IR. That's iron, right? RD2 AR Science was never one of the subjects I really liked. Fun fact. AR 36. ARL2 N a L3 11 sodium N A L3 Be a B. Um, H E helium. Where you at helium? Helium is two. U two. Remember, but I feel like these second things have something to do with the element. Why D3? Go to here. Why D3? 39. down here though. 57. And then HF01. Does it say a word? 
like if I go through the alphabet and do D. Oh no, let me try it this way first. H E D. This is hard. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, um, you too. And A is LK, L3. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be like D1, D2. I'll do that. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. I don't know. And my time, my time for today is running out. I think I'm gonna have to come back for this tomorrow. Oh, now I can open the book. Okay, okay. Oh, I can open the book now. It's letting me. I, you too. Cool. Things to remember. Me. J.R. Jake Rogers. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. The letter and digit tell the direction. Oh! oh. The letter and the digit tell the direction. Okay. How? Okay. I need one. The answer to my fate lies in the box. Okay. What box? What, what box? Way too hard. What box? Um, I'm gonna need to do the easy level next time I play this. Max, a matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. I know that the letter and digit tell the direction. Okay. Box. What box? So oh, now I think I need to find a box. Anyone see a box? around again. I'm going to look around again one more time, talk to the people one more time, and then it's going to be time for me to go, because I have to babysit tonight. Oh, he's not going to tell Bye. anything else. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. I guess I have to find more information to talk to them about stuff. Box. Did I look at this one? There's, I think I did. There's so many bulletin boards.
CR1. There's more! <laughs> There's more than that! Okay. Um, where's the box? I need the box. Whatever box he's talking about. Thank you for following 23 Skidadrew. saw this one. Grape, grape, orange, cool. We'll play the alarm in the school. Grape, grape, orange, cool. We'll play the alarm in the school. Cool. Do I, ha I have enough quarters. Let's go annoy Connie. Before I go, let's go annoy Connie. this past students of the month was Jake one? Oh, I don't know who these people are What is it you want now? She's so mean. This is why I want to annoy you. See you later. Bye. Jake. And that's probably why she killed him. Man, that's wild. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> that's how you die in Nancy Drew? Well, on that note, I'm gonna save the game. And it's going to be time for me to go because I just, I got to be done after that. That was wonderful. I'm going to have to play this game more this weekend so I can finish it. But yeah. Thanks for watching, all you people out there. Thanks for joining. I'll see you all in the future. Thank you.